Natural gas is a hydrocarbon formed from the decomposition of organisms deposited on the seabed millions of years ago. We need to investigate where natural gas is found, as well as the advantages and disadvantages of extracting natural gas. Natural gas is unevenly distributed around the world, with Russia, Iran and Qatar having nearly 60% of the known reserves, whilst the USA tops the list for the actual production of natural gas. Technological advances have made shale gas extraction through fracking viable, but the process is controversial and not without serious opposition. The advantages include having less environmental accidents than oil spills, the large workforce required employing over 1.2 million people worldwide. Gas is more abundant than other forms of fossil fuels, and with shale gas potential from fracking, the amounts available are increasing. Gas can be transported easily in a variety of methods over land and sea, from pipelines to tankers. It's the cleanest form of fossil fuels, with 45% less CO2 emissions and less toxic chemicals like nitrous oxide and sulphur dioxide than other non-renewables. Gas can provide electricity during the peak demand periods, with gas-fired power stations being able to shut down or turn on much more quickly than nuclear or HEP stations. There are, however, disadvantages to extracting natural gas, such as it still contributes to global climate change by production of CO2 and methane. Pipelines are very expensive to build and maintain, and it can be dangerous if it's transported or handled without due care. When countries have large quantities of gas that they supply to other nations, it can be used as a political weapon against their opponents. To access shale gas, fracking processes use enormous amounts of water, along with extremely harmful chemicals that can contaminate groundwater supplies. Gas extraction is, of course, somewhat limited to the locations where natural gas is found. This could be underwater or on land, and can include environmentally sensitive areas, such as the Amazon rainforest. Gas extraction in Peru started in 2004, bringing both advantages to the country and disadvantages. The Peruvian project has provided employment for many people and has helped boost not only the national economy to the tune of over $30 billion over the project's lifetime, but also local economies. It could save Peru billions of dollars in energy costs from imports and has necessitated the development of improved infrastructure that's helped many local people and agriculture. However, Deforestation associated with a pipeline and other developments is a real threat to natural habitats and delicate ecosystems in the rainforest. The clearing of the rainforest for pipelines has caused landslides with pollution of streams leading to a decline in fish stocks. This could also affect indigenous tribes and their traditional way of life. It could seriously damage their food and water supplies whilst at the same time opening them up to diseases brought into the area by developers to which they have no immunity. Natural gas is certainly going to be around for quite some time, but like all fossil fuels, it will run out. It's important to understand the finite nature of the resource, as well as the impacts, both positive and negative, it has on a world hungry for energy. <laughs>